hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask myself a very basic question. Can I lobe 10 days while doing fall cleanup? This is our second part, and we are doing day two. Still in Pleasant Valley. And, uh, yeah, I think I want to head down to the farmhouse. We just forego any complaints from uh, Miss Astrid about food. Are we warm? No. Do I want to be warm? Yeah. But I'd have to just stand around to do it. I mean, I could break this down. What's our fuel situation? Every crate that I break down is... um. You know, uh, fire, uh, firewood that I don't use. Sorry, <laughs> my brain tripped offline there for a minute. Okay, let's uh, ski daddle. Weather permitting. What is the weather? Any time now. There we go. The weather is very workable. Thought that was a wolf. It was a fence. Okay, we will continue our fall cleanup. Picking up these sticks. And I think I want to check the cave quick. If possible, because I'm probably not going to come up this way again. At least not unless this ends up being a... Um, a weekend series, which I could see. Like, I, I can see how we, we could rank, make that work. And just, you have to redo this delivery every 10 days. And you still always got to have all the sticks on you and everything. I could see it. It would, in some ways, get harder as your clothing gets better because your clothing will be heavier. Should be warm in this cave. This cave has a bed. I was just here yesterday in a completely different series. With a completely different character. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm wearing a different shirt. It's the same day. I changed shirts to create the illusion that it's a new day, but now I'm telling you <laughs> that that's not true. So I don't know why I did it. Ah, uh, boy, I'm sure glad I came here. I guess the rose hips. That was a, was a big win for everybody right there. Uh, we could, conceivably, grab an hour in this bed, warm up a bit, and then wish we hadn't because the weather changed. Let's see. All right, nice. I love it when I'm wrong. Keep this out. I don't think we're going to need it. But we'll keep it out. And where the hell am I going? I don't know. I wanted to get this stick. What is our current stick count? Current stick count, a nice, even 50. Which means we could visit six locations before having to pick up more sticks. Maybe 20 wasn't enough. Initially, I was going to do 30, and then I felt like that was too much. I did a test run. I don't usually test these. But I did a quick test run, and I spawned in the muskeg. And man, I struggled to get to 10 sticks, let alone 30. And uh, I was not doing well, because I needed to get to the uh, boxcar to get the flare... But I couldn't loot it, because I didn't have enough sticks. So I thought, eh, maybe I better dial it back to 20. We'll stick with 20. I'm not going to change the rules. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say I never do that, because I know I do. But I'm not going to. We'll grab these cattails over here.
Good to see the deer. That means uh, we're pretty safe in this area. Probably won't need these. I expect to get some decent food at the farmhouse. But we might need them later. And, you know, I want to be as overburdened as possible, as quickly as possible. Looks pretty good. Uh, any goodies in here? Just as long as we're stopping by. Doesn't look like it. I'll take that. Okay. On to the farmhouse we go. I used to go that way to get to the farmhouse. I now go this way. We could check um, draft dodgers, but... Eh. Draft Dodgers often doesn't have much in it. It's a ways out of my way. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill All me. right, Astrid. Better? Better? Trying to build the buffer back up, getting two recordings in in one day is a good step towards that. This gets me Wednesday and Thursday. Um, tomorrow, I will do Friday, and probably that's it. And then on... Uh, Thursday, I'll record two weekend episodes. Hopefully, um, hopefully he lives through both weekend episodes. Stinky will. It's definitely an interesting challenge running around with three stink lines all the time. It is, you just gotta be aware of where everybody is. It does change some of the routes that you take because you either want to go a way that is less populated or you just want to go away where you've got more visibility. Like, I like this. This is good. I can see where everybody is and what everybody's doing. But over in this direction, I can't. And I don't like that. It will be interesting to see how long Stinky Will can last. On day 13 or 14, I think, right now. I don't need a hacksaw, but I have found a hacksaw in the back seat of this car. First identify. Well, really, it's more right there, but you can't grab it unless you're in the back seat. Kirk Steven is the one who pointed that one out to me. Hello. All right. Oh, uh, why did I, I saw blue there for a second? Um, do you have anything? And eat just one cattail. I just don't don't want anything to get dramatic here. Let's head into the old Molly's farmhouse here. I ain't gonna work on Molly's farm no more. And uh, we'll see uh, see what we find. Okay, straight ahead should be a cooking pot, and I already see it. Thank you. This is where the weight will, will kick up. I think I see matches. Beautiful. Syrup and flour in one package. Now, I was talking to Annie about this series today, and she said, you know, at the end, you know, in that woodlot, you should have a pancake breakfast. That's very fall. Like, yep, yeah, you know what? You're right. I should do that.
There we go. Can opener. I was just thinking, man, I wouldn't mind finding a can opener. And then I did. Okay. Up, up, up. Whoop. You know what? I might eat it right now. Yeah. Let's just eat it right now. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Um, ba -dum. Over here, there is a gloves. Better than the gloves I have. Well, they will be once I fix them. Book. Not much there. I see that soda. We will drink that immediately. No sense carrying that weight around. Don't think I'm going to stay here. I'll just loot and go. Loot and scoot. I believe I've heard some people say. See what's a boot? <laughs> Just a little tease to my Canadian friends. I, I know that that's a gross exaggeration. Just like all Mainers do not talk like the Pepperidge Farm guy. We don't all say, you can't get there from here. Don't all talk that way. Hey, uh. <laughs> I do like a yacht, though. I think that's a great thing to say. Hey, uh. I never say it, but I, I wish I said it. <laughs> like, a fun way to talk. How did you get to the store today? I hey, uh, got down there. Got some milk, eggs, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with this comedy routine now. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on Great Bear Island, Astrid was looting a farmhouse. Now, I used to find the Mackinac, like, almost every time I came here. But lately... Lately, me and the Mackinac have been going through some problems, I guess, because uh, I haven't seen it in a while. I miss you, Mackinac. Tell me what I did that was wrong. Wait, we're going into another comedy routine. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Serious! Serious challenge. Serious game. I just want to be able to pick the chair up. That's all. If that's all base customization gives me, I'll be happy because that's what I want. I want to be able to move the furniture that's fallen over out of my way. That freaking chair in the middle of the kitchen in um, Mountain Town, uh, the farmhouse in Mountain Town, oh my gosh. Drives me banana. Please let me move that thing. Like this. Let's push this thing back in. What are you? Nothing. Okay. Alright. Um, I may forego that toilet water because I'm already pretty heavy. I wonder if I can drop any and I think I'm going to light this up. So that I don't miss anything. We will take the potatoes. Speaking of fall cleanup. <laughs> I'm hoping it won't be too loud for you guys. If I feel like it's too loud, then I will just pause my recording. But they this are uh, driving handy. around their mowers right now. 
And I think they're going to be going right around our yard. Our HOA pays for this thing. I would just as soon take care of it myself. But this is what they uh, they do. They do it every week, too, which I kind of think is probably not great. I'm no lawn expert, but it seems like they're cutting the grass really short, and it gets burned up. We haven't had much rain this winter, and, or this summer, excuse me, and uh, I don't have a... Um, you know, I got sprinklers that I can put out, but... Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're going pretty good out there. I'm going to bring the microphone closer and try to power through because I, in the past when I've tried to hear this, uh, I don't hear it. So, I mean, I hear it. I mean, I don't hear it on the recording. So I'm going to try to power through. I think the microphone does a pretty good job of filtering it out. Now, uh, no matches here? Seriously? I mean, I already got some upstairs. What am I complaining about? For real. How greedy can one guy be? The answer is pretty greedy. Alright, we're out of here. On to the little barn to look for the rabbit hat. I'm not sure I can carry this is part of my standard um, procedure for Pleasant Valley. We are getting pretty tired, but we can sleep in the little barn. Um, it's getting somewhat late in the day. See, I, I'm i going to want to go to Pleasantville, which is, and that means I'm going to hit the big barn where we could get a stem. So that's totally worth it. Then we're going to need to go back to Signal Hill because you might as well hit Signal Hill on your way to Mystery Lake. And then before you know it, it's like freaking Friday. You know, and you've been here for days. Pleasant Valley is really well designed to keep you in Pleasant Valley. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Alright, I pretty much only go here for the rabbit hat, although I think I found matches here once. Stupid bunnies. Okay, we look here. We see this nothing. Kind of we look in this green box and find nothing. We look over here. We see nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Maybe we put this match in the barrel. I'm thinking. I want to get my cooking going a little bit. Now that I've got the cooking pot. Just to raise our, our uh, cooking skill. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. You can close that. And, uh, yeah, throw another one of them in there. Give me place the pot. And in the pot, place the peaches. And on to the side, place the potato. Okay. Up we go. There used to be nothing up here. Now at least there's a dead guy that you can loot. But there used to be nothing. Unless I'm misremembering that, which is always possible. 
Now, is there any exhaust? There's no exhaust. There's no hole in this roof. Where is this smoke going? Like, I should choke to death in here at some point. Because all the oxygen gets taken out. I guess maybe this boarded up window is probably... Yes, okay. All right, that's open to the air. So, could be. Thanks, dude. Man, that rabbit hat has not been there in a while. It took the same uh, trip as the Mackinac did. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay, oh, no. Okay, peaches are done. Potato is not. Put another potato in there. Put the peaches on the ground. I don't want to sleep here, Astrid. I want to sleep in the other barn. Damn it. I just pulled my headphone out. Okay, here I haven't finished this. Okay. How you doing? Good. Good. Take that. 36 minutes. Oh, you're done too? Okay, take that. Are we done with the fire? Looks like it. Visually. Nine minutes. Okay. Take that. Light me. All right. Sayonara. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. No, I'm pretty attached to most of what you have. I don't like how slow you are. Oh, jeez. Guys, the rules. The rules. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Okay, drop. I've come in here twice now. Ten sticks. That's my penalty for forgetting the first time. Same thing with the farmhouse. We're going to go drop ten sticks there. What was I thinking? I'm going to get fired by the Fall Cleanup Association if they figure out what happened. So forget it. New plan. So glad I realized that. <laughs> it's hard when you're when you're in the zone of just working on the challenge. It's hard to remember the rules that you set for yourself. What was I doing? Oh yeah, fall cleanup. Hey, look at that stick. I should pick that up. The sticks. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, is right. You could make the argument that the basement is its own location because it has its own loading screen. I'm not going to do that. I forgot to check out here anyway. All right, drop your 10 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. I don't know. Maybe I could still make the, uh... Oh! Fiddle sticks. I think I'm still going to try to make the other barn. Just run across the field here. It's so pretty much a straight shot from the silo. Just depends on what's in our way. They're mowing right by the window right now. So you may be able to hear that, and I'm sorry. Okay, our remaining torches suck. I'm not even going to bother with them. 
instead no have the other potato while it's still warm there you go I don't see any jerks yet But, my hearing <laughs> right now is not great. So, um, I'm glad I'm not in, a, in an area where I would want to listen for bear walking and breathing. That's usually how I know he's there. You hear him before you see him. But we do look pr in pretty good shape, actually. All right, Astrid, you're rocking it. You are rocking it. Don't forget to drop sticks when you get there. I'm telling me. That's my job, not Astrid's job. Still looks pretty clear in the approach. I'm sprinting a lot because I want to get there. I always feel like the clock is ticking with me in Pleasant Valley. Is it dark? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Mm, pretty dark, but I can find the truck. That's all I cared about. There it is, somewhat hidden by the shifter, is the stem. Ruby. You can't tell me that placement's an accident. I won't believe you. Okay, um... Sure, eat some carrots. I kind of forgot I picked those up. All right, let's uh, finish our drinking. Yeah, go ahead with this. And let's sleep. Give me nine. No, <laughs> not 900, nine. <laughs> Aurora. Okay. Very good. We gotta sit around for a bit. Can prepare this birch bark. We can sleep again, though. We'll finish making these teas first. Just hope we don't get blizzarded into this barn. I definitely want to wait till it's light out so that I can loot it. Unless I decide to just light a match, but I don't think I want to. Can't uh, craft a torch now. Okay. Let's sleep again like we did last summer. Mm, full condition. Eat some chips. They're a bit risky. Okay. Let's pass to... 
And that should get us the daylight I want. Okay, back after a quick crash. We are going to uh, head up here. See what kind of goodies we have. Fortunately, the crash came about 30 seconds after I got up, so I didn't really miss anything. I am trying to diagnose why I crash so often. I suspect it is a temperature issue. We'll see. I'll take that cloth. I'll probably take that book. Look, we got what we came here for. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. Overburdened? Not by much. Let's drop something. This book. There we go. Come on, weather. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Oops. I did it again. With the sticks. I didn't do the sticks. Back inside. Drop ten sticks. Okay. It's five sticks to enter, but since I had to enter twice, it's ten. So now we no longer have enough sticks to get into anywhere. We have our bare minimum just to be able to loot. So I need to find some sticks on my way. I'm going to head on over to Pleasantville. Two, three, four. Triple down, so I don't think I'm going to take the uh, branches. Emergency torch at the ready. It's all we have. Six. I'd love to get to ten. Seven. Eight. You can't tell me there's no sticks over here. All right, here we go. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I left one behind. I can't feel my feet. You're fine. I see that wolf over there. Hopefully you don't hear the lawnmower that's going by. I would like to avoid him rather than deal with him. I have come to the opinion that the best strategy with wolves is avoidance. And that it works a decent amount of the time. Okay, I'm going to look... Well, I don't need to look for the hacksaw. I have one. So we're going to go straight for the gusto here. And straight for the guaranteed matches. Don't need this. We are going to drop five sticks the second we walk in the door because I'm tired of screwing up.
One, two, three, four, five. There, I did it. Take that. Oats? No oats. Potato. There's the matches. They're not always in the same place. But they are always here. Until they're not. I'll take it. Nice. Very nice. Point. Groovy. Carrot. And some potatoes. All right. Over to the bingo parlor for the wrap up. Okay. Um. Ah! Drop those sticks. What the hell am I going to do with me? It's candy bar. I would like to repair those mittens. We'll get some cloth out in the other room, though. Bam. Hello. Ooh, some socks, too. Um, I think I may have already found socks and didn't put them on. Yeah. Kick that door open. Bam. Or pull it open, I guess. Drop any of this. You're here. fine. We have too much of some stuff. We'll take care of it. Coat, vest, hat. Excellent. God, I did anything right about now. Really? Well, you might be in luck. How about dog food? You said anything. I didn't even look at what condition it's in. You said anything. Never in the history of the game have I found anything in that uh, weird looking pull down microwave thing. Not much. Coach Z's got money, but not much. There we go. I frequently forget these. These uppers. <laughs> it might not have mattered. Nope, wouldn't have mattered. Feeling salty about that. I see the skillet, though. So we have an opportunity to do a big cook here if we wanted to. All six burners. Get a lot of cooking skill taken care of. Wouldn't... Ooh. Yeah. I think, uh... I think that just... That just got confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. I was about to wrap up, but 
We're going into overtime. Thanks to that fish. Come on, little fire. Don't you shouldn't need to make any water. We have plenty of water. So in terms of time, maybe give me two. That should be enough to do everything I want to do. Let's place potatoes. Perfect. And some pan fried fish. Pan fried salmon. Here, you take that. Okay, that's going to take 34, 35. Okay, everybody's good. Excellent. Let's uh, manage a little inventory here. Let's see. Um, don't need two of you. You can make the argument I don't even need one of you, but we'll stick with it for now. Don't need those shoes. Don't need this book. Don't need these cans. That is immediately better. Okay, we do have a decent amount of uh, repair work that we can do. We may not do it this episode, but I want to grab the cloth for it. All right, that fish should be done. Mmm. Fish and potatoes. These aren't done. Do you want to make us some birch bark? I like it. Um, if we were to repair just this, repair, 30 minutes. That's a bit longer than I wanted to spend. But we'll just wait for this. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Where are we at on cooking? Uh, we got a ways to go. Yeah, Fair enough. Fair heavy. enough. One torch. Looks good. Shut that down. Okay. Over here. Maybe we um, repair these. I said repair these. There you go. Drop that nonsense. 97, 98, 64, 21. Let's give this a hit. Much better. Mm. How long? 30. Go ahead. Don't fail me. Okay, looks good. Give me a drink. We're going to grab an hour for a save. And uh, yeah, I think we're we're set up well now to head up to Signal Hill. Uh, I'm going to sleep an hour. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I got to remember next time to not screw up with the sticks. That was Those were expensive mistakes, but we'll get more sticks. But yeah, we are cleaning up. Great Bear Island, getting ready for the fall. I'm having a great time. I hope you are too. I'll be back tomorrow with more adventures in the long dark. In the meantime, if you could do the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, they do all really help me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, stay safe, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Next time. Bye-bye. Allow myself to introduce myself. <laughs>